Okay, in this episode of What's Up Poland, I've got a really nice feel-good story for you. Um, so uh, luckily, Monica's on the show with us this time. Glad to be here. What's that got to do with the price of fish? Funny you should say fish, actually, Paddy, because this is the amazing story about how a group of homeless men, uh, almost 200 of them, in fact, built a boat, a schooner, which took them 15 years to build, and it's a 37-ton ship, uh, which was built at a homeless shelter, and now they've actually finally built it. I really want to get Philip to uh, show you the pictures now. So, Philip, if uh, you could show the, the pictures of this most amazing boat um, for our wonderful viewers out there. And it took them uh, 15 years uh, to build this using scrap metal or metal donated by uh, various individuals and companies uh, in their efforts. Uh, it's called Father Boguslav. Uh, so this is like the priest which basically managed to get these homeless people on board and give them a, a sense of purpose uh, to build this ship. And now that they've built it, it's uh, been set uh, afloat in the Zerajski uh, Canal. So like the, uh, what, what's a canal? Canal, sorry, this is really like going well, isn't it, guys? Uh, it's in the Zeran uh, Canal in, in Warsaw. They're going to take it up to Gdańsk and they're going to take it around the world. Now, what do you say to that? And I'm not going to ask you, Paddy, uh, <laughs> because like uh, I think you're being, you don't like my feel good, hearty, good, feely good stories. So, uh, but luckily we have uh, Monica Zielinski, top Polish YouTuber, on the show with us. Uh, so, what do you think? I think it's an incredible story, first of all, and what a cool project. I couldn't have even imagined that they could even build something as legit as this. Like I was thinking, I was picturing a raft or something kind of, I don't know, not made so professionally, but it looks like it can really sail around the world. And what it a looks, great it way It looks to, amazing, right? You know, yeah. it's 17, it, you know, it's 17. It's very surprising. Years. You know, it's kind of, if you look at the picture, it's just, it's just amazing, you know, and you've got the ship's captain, you know, Waldemar Zhejnitsky, uh, you know, who's uh, kind of happily dinging on the ship's bell there. Uh, if you if you look at the article, and of course you can check that by uh, clicking on the link below this video, but just looking at it, it just looks it's, absolutely... It's amazing. remarkable. Uh, John, I, I just want to, however, just raise one finger in the air, if I may, because uh, the reason why there may have been a, a touch of... A touch of not recrimination, but you know, I may have had a raised eyebrow. It's only because last week I told you about the story of one man who built a raft yes. and that was my story. And, and the raft is not as impressive as this remarkable. Yeah. I think I've gone, I've gone one up on that. Yeah. You have. And I, <laughs> I feel like raft to the next level, the, the uh, competitive edge within me is a little bit perturbed because my raft, it would be, would, if, if your boat, story swat, uh, flew past my raft at speed then i think that my raft would be capsized in every single way so you'd yes you'd that. be you'd you'd sink in the wash in the wake of this uh, yeah uh, i'd be submerged spoon. so in in fact it's my sense of inferiority because what these what these 200 uh, unfortunately homeless uh, persons have done is really quite remarkable. I think the captain at the end says something like it's a solid unit and boy it looks like it could take it does like bow a solid wave. unit right yeah yeah but uh, just, but he says that it's. Um, he also says that it's. He has no doubts about its reliability and durability. Exactly, seventeen meters. That's like you know that takes it over to like fifty feet, right? You know, so it's a you know fifty footer. Not bad. <laughs> and uh, of course, the other great thing is of, that the high seas. The the point is that it's about saying that homeless people actually are not helpless, or or not they don't have utility, or they they can't be right. valuable in some way. Back. They're just. They're exactly. people who have fallen through the cracks and had unfortunate things happen to them. And every one of us actually, if the circumstances, if all the bits of the Swiss cheese lined up in the wrong way or in the right way, then actually it could happen to every single one of us. And uh, that's, that's a really inspiring message. It's inspiring and it's also given these people a sense of purpose, which is always great, especially when you're uh, maybe forced into some sort of situation like this. So it's always good and, and, and heart lifting to see a story like this. And, you know, and it's also made me a little bit jealous because I wouldn't mind having a 17 meter schooner to sail the high season. I definitely Difference. want to follow this story because I want to know where they go and what their yeah. whole experience is like in this and sailing around the world. What an incredible opportunity. Exactly. Um, so I'm, I'm full on with you there, Monica. Maybe we should sign up as crew members, right? So if we, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> like the captain, should we ding the bell on this story, John? And we uh, certainly we should. It's a ding, ding. And of course, if you want to follow us, uh, please click on the link below to subscribe. Uh, and uh, that's all from us here at Ahoy, my hearties. What's up, Poland?